Hey everybody, it's Corey Jones with Compassion Works for All. Right now the temperatures outside are dropping, leaves are falling, and Crazy Uncle Bob is really ramping up his Facebook rants. And that can only mean one thing. It's election season! Politics and religion are the two things that we have conditioned ourselves culturally not to discuss in mixed company. But as any mindfulness and meditation practitioner knows, you have to name your reality in order for it to be addressed. So, for the month of October, we're going to talk about mindfulness and politics. When it comes to talking about politics, we don't just want to engage for the sake of engaging, we want to do so productively. And mindfulness gives us a lot of tools to do just that. The one that I want to talk about today is setting your intention. And that might be a practice you're already familiar with. Maybe when you settle into your cushion for a time of meditation, or when you unroll your yoga mat, or you lace up your shoes to go outside for a mindful walk. Maybe you're used to setting your intention from the start, naming what it is that you want to accomplish during that time of focus. And it can be super helpful when we have a word or a phrase or a concept that our minds can return to whenever they wander a bit. It puts us back on a path that we've already carved out for ourselves, and it reminds us of what it is that we're actually trying to do in that moment. And the same can be true for politics. There might be some of you who your intention is to just avoid politics altogether. You don't watch anything on the news, you don't engage on social media, you have no political conversations with friends, you just show up on voting day and cast your ballot. And if so, that's great and more power to you. But it is increasingly more difficult to avoid it as we move through life. And so for those of us who do engage with politics, what is it that you're trying to accomplish? Because I think that if we're honest, if we said what we're actually trying to do with our political engagement, quite often it's something like crush our opponent, humiliate someone, win an argument. And it's not anything productive or anything that causes other people to want to open up and hear our perspective. We sure aren't looking to hear and understand other people's perspective. And so we enter into things mindlessly rather than mindfully. And that has created a quite toxic environment politically. So what is it that you are actually trying to accomplish when it comes to engaging with politics? If you were to set your intention for the conversations, for the things that you take in, for the campaigns that you support, for the candidates that you endorse, if you were to set your intention, what would it be? And that might be a difficult thing to name right away, so maybe a better question to ask would be, who am I trying to become? What sort of person do I want to be? And how am I getting there with the ways that I engage politically? Because maybe that comment that you're about to make on Facebook, or maybe that email you're about to fire back to crazy Uncle Bob, uh, maybe those things aren't actually helping you become who you're trying to be as a human. And so maybe hold off a bit. But regardless, set your intention. Name what it is that you want to accomplish this political season and let that guide you through this rocky time so that we don't lose our friends and we don't lose our humanity. If you want to know more about us, visit us at CompassionWorksForAll.org.